found another stick. He thinks we don't know anything about it. What have you got? What have you got? Well, I don't think you should have that. Good morning. Morning. It's a bit of a misty morning today, but it's been a funny old week weather-wise, hasn't it? Yeah, I think in one day we had cloud, we had sun, we had rain, uh, we had joy in the fun. I mean, you know. Um, <laughs> Seasons in the sun. Yeah. And I mean, one day we had cloud, we had rain, we had sun, we had hail, and then uh, the sun came back out. Oh, and a bit of wind as well. It was really cold. Yeah, that was the day we moved um, that electric boat, wasn't it? We... Um, We've joined up with um, some friends and we're all going to be moving on the same stretch together. So you'll get to meet them yeah. um, in future videos. And we helped move to Friends Boat, which is an electric wide beam. Mm. And built way before its time, really, wasn't it? Yeah, way way before the technology really properly existed. So yeah. it, um, she's had to update it quite a bit and put new powerful motors in and battery banks. And she's recently had... 3,000 watts of solar fitted to the roof, or just under 3,000 watts of solar. Um, so now when she moves on a sunny day, she's like she's, she glows, she's got a halo. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Well, we will show her in, in later we videos. We will, yeah. But but, uh, I think the thing is, when we move our boat, we charge our engines because our diesel engine charges the batteries. Hmm. Um, when she moves, she obviously drains her batteries. So it's, it's a, a weird concept. Way of looking yeah. at it, isn't it? And when we moved to help move that boat, it was torrential rain and wasn't wind, it? yeah, all day. And then we walked about an hour back on the towpath. Got soaked in pouring rain. So we did get we did get soaked that day, but it was it was all good fun. It was. So this week we moved from uh, Crofton um, uh, pumping station, the beam engine to uh, a place Bedouin. called Great Bedouin, yeah, um, which is a lovely little village with a great mm. baker and they do amazing, amazing crusty bread. Um, <laughs> so uh, we've had a few of those. Um, That's Eric. Hello. And this is Ozzy. saying hello, Ozzy. <laughs> The wolf boy. Wolf dog, aren't you? Gorgeous. Um, and um, so we'll show you in the video um, our footage of us doing the locks heading towards Great Bedroom. It's a really pretty place. And um, the colour of the water is different here, isn't it? Yeah, it's really different. We've gone from sort of murky green and not being able to see under the water at all to now we're getting heading nearer to the river, so you've got the water flow. And um, you can kind of see the bottom in places, which yeah. is a bit strange because you can see uh, bricks and things in the water and, and logs and trees. and It's crystal clear. Yeah, yeah it crystal, is, clear, it so. is crystal clear. But it's fed from a, um, isn't it fed from a spring, spring or something? Yeah. yeah. So, um, so yeah, the water's completely different um, quality here. It's not yeah. murky, dirty. It's, um, it's lovely. And, you know, it's yeah. like a river. It's like, and you can see right to the bottom. So, um, so yeah, so that's interesting to look at. Uh, and it's got a sort of greeny hue to it as yeah. well, isn't it? Like a jadey sort of colour. Yeah. So, um, but obviously we'll show you footage of us um, coming through the locks, heading towards um, Great Bedwin in the video. Um, the unpacking video, the video for the um, video camera, um, is coming. It's done, but I keep saying it's the next one, but it's not the next one because um, we still I, got a few bits to do on that, haven't we? Yeah, got some bits to set up on it, but um, we will do it. We will. A few do little it. queries we got to sort out with the cameras. Yeah. And then um, once we once we sort that out, then we can let you know. So. And we've had a few people ask us about our walkie talkies as well, and we'll show you those. So people have been asking us what walkie talkies we use, and um, we got these on Amazon. Yeah, it was. Uh, we'll yeah. put a link, put a link down, below. down in below so that if you click on the link um, then you can go, it'll take you through to the correct page. Um, and if you do buy any of um, these radios I should inform you that we do get a small commission which um, helps us to um, make the videos. Make the videos. Yeah. Um, we're not in any way affiliated to 
Bayo Feng. Um, <laughs> these just happened to be the ones we bought before we moved on to the boat in readiness for moving yeah. on to the boat. Um, they were really cheap. I mean, these are brilliant radios. They look like this. Very lightweight. Very right? lightweight. Very easy to use. Switch them on. Power on. Power on. <laughs> um, they've got a range. Um, let's have a look. What have they got? So they've got a scrambler, a noise reduction circuit, a long standby time, long communication range. Doesn't say how long. But sure, we've certainly seem. not found them to be uh, deficient when we've been split up and you've been down the towpath further ahead from me. Um, they've got a battery save mode. Um, they're really good. And they, I think they only cost, I think it was £20, was it? Yeah. Something like Something that. Something like that. We'll put a little thing up to say. Yeah, but no they're much. really good. They're clear. You know, they're, 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 you know, they've got good sound quality. They've got a nice little clip for the belt and they've got a little hand clasp thing here to stop them from fall, dropping in the canal. Uh, so we'll put a link to those because a few people have asked what radios we've used. Um, not everybody uses radios, to be absolutely frank, but you know we found that when we were coming through the tunnel, for example, it was quite a useful thing to have. And also when you're at locks, yeah, it's quite locks, a useful locks thing. Locks are quite dangerous, and you know if there's just one of you on the lock, um, and the other person's driving, and they've gone out of the lock and, and left you obviously to close all the bits and pieces up, it's when you're walking across the lock gate. You have yeah. to climb across the lock gate when the when the um, lock is empty it's about a 10 foot drop and it's only about a foot wide with a grab rail on one side here she goes nimble as a cat spider-man couldn't do a better job than this i should sign her up for the new avengers movie lock woman watch this like a gazelle um so it's quite handy to have that i know you know we've all got our phones but it's a lot quicker to press the button on that and say that you need help than than dialing somebody yeah um with your mobile phone so yeah exactly so. just got to remember to press the button on the side i know how to do it i know you forget yeah i forget <laughs> i forget um, just leaving our lovely mooring spot at crofton pumping station the water was so wonderful on the water point that we're going to reverse back through the lock, get some nice spring water in the tank and fill it up. There's only a two day more in here. So we've had our two days and now we're going to leave. the geared paddles and they take forever. Got a red kite just about to come across. I think it's a red kite. It's got a fork tail. It is a red kite. Just seen the back of it. That's what you call leaky gate.
there's a guy hunting a barge pulling what looks to be like a an empty cesspit you see the strangest sights on the canal Here we are outside the village of Great Bedwin and it's an absolutely glorious day. The water is so still. And Eric and Eric is exploring his new surroundings. Um, but there we go. Uh, right, so well thank you for watching the video. Um, and uh, if you like it, give it a thumbs up. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and click the little bell icon to let you know when future videos are coming. Um, and all it says it takes for us now is to say thank you for watching and, and um, see you next week. See you next week. Bye. Bye.